Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel, and especially if you're new around here, welcome to a very exciting Ruby video. So as some of you guys are probably aware, last month I made a Ruby news and information video covering the announcement of Crunchyroll Games revealing their first Ruby game for mobile devices called Ruby Crystal Quest. And during that time, there was a slight rebrand with the title name. It has since been updated, uh, so I just wanted to clarify that so there's no confusion. Well, Following that news video, I was contacted by a staff member from Crunchyroll Games. Yes, Crunchyroll themselves, who extended me a humble offer to partner with them on the game's release. And naturally, like most things that I do on my channel, I lost my damn mind. And no one probably knows this, but Crunchyroll was indirectly responsible for how I got into Ruby. So I created my channel back in 2013. A little bit before that, I started getting into anime and manga. Um, or rather getting back into anime and manga around 2011, 2012 with the kind of renaissance age of anime. And mind you, I've been watching anime my entire life. I grew up watching anime on the Toonami block on Cartoon Network as a child with shows like Dragon Ball Z and Yu Yu Hakusho. During my middle school days, I would watch anime on Adult Swim uh, with shows like uh, Full Metal Alchemist and Inuyasha. And it was after I graduated high school around 2011, 2012, that I started getting back into anime. And the first anime that I got into through Crunchyroll, through the Crunchyroll app on my Xbox 360, was Sword Art Online. And, and then, you know, fast forward from that, 2013, I make my YouTube channel and my focus my channel on anime and manga. And it was on June 1st, 2013, I walked into my brother's room. He also had a 360, he also used the Crunchyroll app and he was watching the yellow trailer, Yang's trailer, the inaugural trailers before the show's debut, uh, you know, next month of that year. And the first thing I said to him was, what video game is that? Because back then, realistically back then, Ruby looked more like a video game than it did like a production, like an animation production. And he was like, this is an anime. And I was blown away by the four colored trailers through Crunchyroll, I discovered Ruby. And it's crazy to think about that now because I used to do like reviews for anime in general. So back then I was doing reviews for Naruto, Free Iwatobi Swim Club, Attack on Titan, Ruby, Log Horizon, Kuroko no Basket, Beyond the Boundary. And this was stuff that I was genuinely passionate about. And it's crazy how the years have gone on and Ruby has inevitably turned into the heart of my channel. It is what I mainly focus on with reactions, reviews, live stream discussions, theories, videos like these, um, and it's mainly due to the fact of my love, my passion for the show, and I think it's just crazy that a platform like Crunchyroll that I discovered years ago was indirectly responsible for this event now, this video being made, them reaching out to me, understanding my passion, my love for the show, and wanting to be a part of uh, the experience of sharing this video and sharing their new game that they're coming out with with all of you guys. So. Um, and especially you guys too, people who watch my videos, who support my videos and look forward to any type of videos that I make, especially regarding Ruby, um, is super uplifting and super supportive. And it's really, it makes me proud to be able to be able to do videos like this as well. So shout out again to Crunchyroll. Thank you guys so much out there for, for your support, for partnering with me, for reaching out. Um, I'm very excited for everybody else to check out this game because I'm very much excited and, and looking forward to seeing how it evolves and how it adapts over time over time as well. Um, but for the majority of it, this is going to be my take on uh, Ruby Crystal Match, getting you guys up and involved and, and checking it out and getting a sneak peek for it yourself before checking it out once it launches. So for the uninitiated, Ruby Crystal Match is a free to play match three puzzle game developed by EGLS Technology, published by Crunchyroll Games, and is based and stylized off of all three seasons of the Ruby spin-off series by Rooster Teeth Productions known as Ruby Chibi. For this mobile puzzler, fans of the Ruby series and newcomers alike will be able to shoot, slash, customize, and blast their way through heaps of dust crystals and grim as they traverse through iconic locations throughout the world of Remnant, battle through nearly 1,000 intricate level designs, and play as some of our favorite characters of the series. And at its core, it's a simple, easy to play game that's fun, it's addicting, and it draws a lot of its charm and concepts from the Ruby Chibi universe. <laughs> and as you can expect from the Ruby Chibi universe, the game is fully equipped with all of the adorable charm charm, humor, and shenanigans that we've all come to know and love over the years. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm bored! 
entertain me. Well, you're in luck because if you're watching this video right now, that means that Ruby Crystal Quest is available right now for download on both iOS and Android devices. So alongside watching this video, be sure to check out the link in the description to download and play the game for yourself. And for more content, this video will ultimately aim to showcase a variety of content that the game has to offer fans of the series, as well as really show what sets it apart from its contemporaries in the similar genre. But overall, let me know what you guys think about the game in this video or anything that I mentioned in the comment section. And without further ado, let's get into it. So starting up the game, we're actually greeted to quite a familiar face. <laughs> as well as a familiar starting point of the game being the city and kingdom of Vale. It even has that welcome sign from volume one that signified the startup of the vital festival tournament, which is kind of cool. But this is the starting point of the game and the lobby screen. This is where you'll find your HUD for your things like your map, your costume changes, uh, your friends list and your guild. And one of the best things of this game that I know for a fact, the fans of the series are going to love are the customizable outfits. So during the initial launch of the game, you'll be able to unlock and play as eight iconic characters from the Ruby and Ruby Chibi series being Ruby Rose, Wai Shni, Blake Belladonna, and Yang Shaolong of Team Ruby, Pira Nikos and Nora Valkyrie of Team Juniper, along with Cinderfall and Neapolitan. Now, in terms of gameplay, each character brings their own level of strategy and fun, uh, be it their adorable charm or their flashy semblances. But of course, in this particular instance, they're dressed to impress. And if there's one thing to take away about the Ruby fandom, it's that we are serious about Ruby costumes and Ruby outfits, whether it's within the show itself, whether it's through the cosplay community, or whether it's through people replicating it through talented fan art, this is a game that kind of nails the same threads and brings them to life in the same way that is cool and stylish in the show. And essentially, you can look cool and kick ass at the same time. So let me give you a little taste test. So Ruby, for example, is decked out in a bunch of her classic iconic outfits for some of her adventures that she goes on in both the ruby proper show as well as ruby chibi uh she has her classic beacon academy outfit the casual outfit i don't need people to help me grow up i drink milk she has the mustache and glasses disguise from ruby chibi which is pretty funny so in conclusion <gasps> hello i am being exchange students also now i am not being late this is when we get to class in my country! Ah! Welcome to Beacon! Hold on, you have a little something on your lip. No! Wait! Holy cats, my face! Detention! Two days! The classic Beacon Academy school outfit. That's a throwback. Justice will be swift! Justice will be rainbow! It will be delicious! Yeah! The rarely seen pajamas from volume one. As a girl, I wanted to be just like those heroes in the books, as someone who fought for what was right and who protected people who couldn't protect themselves. This one is super awesome, and for you Chibi fans out there, her super bestie shirt from Chibi. I really hope that Weiss has the matching pair to kind of make that skit in Chibi make sense. Sleep, little snowflake. It's all going according to plan. Even though I'm screaming on the inside. She also has her dress from the volume two beacon dance. Oh, you look beautiful. Uh, oh, can we have a serious talk about how Weiss fights in these? Oh. Does that mean I can change out of these stupid things and into my hood now? Stupid lady stilts. And she also has her limited volume two outfit that was specifically designed by Monty. Do you think just because you've got nuts and bolts instead of squishy guts makes you any less real than me? You're not like those things we saw back there. You've got a heart and a soul, I can feel it. And for those who are wondering, it has already been confirmed, but beyond the initial game launch and the content that comes with it, there is going to be a slate of future in-game updates with the inclusion of things like guilds. We're gonna get new characters, even more new outfits, new game modes like Battle Royale and all that other stuff. So even all of the stuff that I've shown you just now, we're probably still gonna be getting more planned content like additional characters. So maybe we'll get, right now they just have the ladies of Ruby. So I think like maybe it'd be kind of cool to get more ladies like, um, like Velvet or Coco or Raven um, or Winter or even, you know, introduce some of the other characters like Ozpin, Crow, um, and even get their extended outfits like the outfits that we got from the Mistral arc or even now the newly revealed um, Volume 7 outfits would be pretty cool too. So more content will be coming on top of what we're already getting 
which is pretty cool. But with all of the fun stuff out of the way, let us now jump into the heart of the content with some more gameplay. So with Ruby Crystal Match being a match three genre game, the objective is quite simple, but if you've never played uh, a mobile game similar to this genre, uh, basically you have all of these really neat looking crystals. You have the ruby red crystals, you have the weiss blue crystals, uh, Blake's purple crystals, Yang's yellow crystals, etc., etc. And essentially the objective is simple, match as many of the same color crystals as possible to complete specific objectives. And when the game first starts, and you'll notice through the gameplay here, when the game first starts, the objectives are fairly similar. It's like, get 10 red crystals get 12 blue crystals, get some gang crystals here, some blade crystals there, but as you progress, the game will adapt, the game will evolve, it'll display new obstacles, new objectives, to make the game a bit more challenging. On top of that, your moves are in limited turns, so there's already an added level of strategy involved, being that you have to make as many optimal plays in as few turns as possible to maximize both your score uh, and your in-game rewards, which in turn allows you to unlock more content as you progress through the game. And while this is a match three game, there are actually a few mechanics that are really cool and kind of add a little spice to it because it is Ruby um, to be more than just matching three. If you want to make the game easier, if you want to make the game more challenging, get more points and stuff like that. So throughout the entire trials of, of matching crystals, it actually helps to match more than three crystals to activate what is known as super element mechanics so like i mentioned uh super element mechanics are basically a way to get the most out of destroying as many crystals as possible specific crystals as well as racking up points so basically uh, matching three crystals is the name of the game if you match four crystals in the form of a cube uh, you get a missile that helps you destroy specific crystals matching five crystals or more will produce a small bomb while matching six or more crystals will produce a bigger bomb and you can kind of mix and match all of these elements to kind of basically start some fireworks while you play the game it's the best way to rack up points it's the best way to finish stages as soon as possible and it, it's kind of like an added layer of just having things going off full cylinders if you're able to kind of do as many things in as little amount of time as possible. So you got the core fundamentals. You got matching three crystals, four crystals, five crystals, six crystals or more. Let's talk about semblances. So this is the last thing that I'm gonna kind of touch up on because I don't wanna give everything away. The game is available if you are watching this video now so you can kind of discover and learn some of these tips and tricks as you play along. But this is the Ruby series and every character in Ruby basically has a unique semblance that is available to them um, at some point in the game as you either unlock the characters or progress through the stages. Um, they help you destroy crystals and grim alike and they are fueled by matching the signature crystals of said character. So, for example, if you have Ruby and Yang, Red Crystals powers Ruby Semblance skill, while Yellow Crystals power Yang Semblance. And like I mentioned, this is basically the superpower of the Ruby series. Ruby is basically, the action of Ruby is the bread and butter, and you can expect a semblance to be used here and there. They actually have these really cool, like, action sequences that the chibi characters use when you use their semblance. So, each semblance is unique. Ruby's is different from Yang's. Yang's is different from Pyrrha's. Pyrrha's is different from Blake's and each one of them is kind of utilized in a way similar to the super element, which is give you, giving you kind of like a cool spectacle to watch while at the same time bringing you closer and closer to your objective. So um, all of these mechanics are kind of like, they're all minor on their own, but it's when you bring all of these mechanics, when you bring all of these skills and all of these techniques together that basically make the biggest optimization for you to complete these trials as quickly as possible. And there you have it. The last matchup, which was really, really close. Uh, after you complete all of the matches in a specific venue, it kind of transport you to transports you to a new location in Vale, and then you kind of do the whole thing all over. A little bit more challenging. Uh, new characters, new equipment, new gear to unlock. But at the end of the day, that is my showcase for the Ruby Crystal Match game. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is something that a lot of fans of the show are going to enjoy. It's Ruby in a new flair and a new style and the stylization of Ruby Chibi. There's a lot of antics, there's jokes, there's humor, there's comedy, there's charm. Um, it's something that I feel a lot of fans of the show are going to appreciate, are going to enjoy, are going to get lost in, are, wanting, are, are probably even going to want to get good and get better at, especially with leaderboards and things of that nature. Future content is on the way. Um, and, you know, I think this is a great addition to the Ruby gaming space. This is something that Ruby doesn't really have out there in terms of gaming content. So I think that that is another avenue for, for why some people would want to be able to check something like this out as opposed to some other contemporary in the similar genre. Um, and on top of that, it's something that both Ruby fans can get into. And even if you're not a Ruby fan, this might even actually get you
you into it or at the very least checking out ruby chibi because that is probably in and of itself great content even if you don't enjoy ruby proper or if you've never seen ruby proper but yeah overall i think this is a great game like i said if you are watching this video right now it is available for download on both ios and android devices the link is in the description as well as the pinned comment in the video as well um, I definitely want to say major props, major thank you to everybody who has watched this video. For those of you who support my videos, who enjoy my Ruby videos as well, um, for the for for ultimately supporting me and giving me the chance to be in opportunities like this, where I can you know get excited, share the hype, share the you know the announcements of stuff like this within the Ruby community with everybody else. And major freaking props to Crunchyroll, especially Crunchyroll Gaming, getting into the gaming industry, getting into the gaming space uh, with stuff like this. This is their first ruby game on mobile so uh hopefully it's a it's a big success I, I i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoy um you know me doing my best to kind of showcase this for the rest of the community i i am already going to be enjoying this game long after it's launched and I, I look forward to everything that you guys have in store with uh, additional content and things like that and more importantly Thank you guys very much for reaching out to me. Very humbled, very excited, especially since your platform is what got me into Ruby unironically, um, you know, all those years ago. But ultimately, that is everything. Those are my thoughts. Those are my impressions. That's my showcase of the Ruby Crystal Match game uh, for iOS and Android. Um, be sure to download it. Let me know, like I said, what you guys think about the game, what you guys think about this video, anything that I mentioned in the comments. Uh, I will have information up. I'll probably also be streaming this um after the initial announcement after the initial release so everyone can kind of test it out and try it uh, if you guys have any additional questions i'll be sure to uh to kind of get to you guys on that i'll have all my information for like my guild my username for people who want to add me and play with me and stuff like that um but that's everything thank you guys so much for watching like i said leave anything that you guys might have as thoughts in the comments and i will see you all in the next video take care